increase that company $3 million annually. You know what I did that increased that dealership $3 million annually? We started doing everything the CRM program would do. Because we had salesmen and managers choosing which bits and pieces of the CRM program they liked. Does that make sense? Every day. Every day. You got some of these old farts, you're lucky to get the customer's name on in the, in the system. Does this car have a serial number? Yes, sir. You got it there in the computer, Mr. Ziegler. It's also in the car in about 10 places. Well, it's dark out there, flashlight. Raining, flashlight umbrella. Excuse me. The problem we have in dealerships is so many of you in the technology end don't know that you are managers. You don't know that you are here to be part of the management team. I have set world records in our industry, some of which still stand. And nobody ever gave me authority that I didn't take. You won't be a manager, act like a manager. Take authority, don't look to be given authority. Like I say, I, I tell salespeople and I tell internet people, we hired you to have a personality. Use your personality, be persuasive, use finesse. Customer relationship management. That has become such a buzzword, you think it's a computer program. Technology is an enabler, it's not a person, and it doesn't manage relationships. People manage relationships with technology enablement. Does everybody understand what I just said? Say it again. You don't automate customer relationships. I make a hundred phone calls a day when I'm in my office. I'm a one-man BDC, and I'm sitting here with a headset on. I'm making a hundred calls. I'm calling dealers. I'm doing millions of dollars worth of business on a handshake. And on my screen, I called a dealer the other day, and I said, how's Veronica? Did she get that promotion you were talking about a couple months back? His wife's name, Veronica. It was in my system. Any little piece of information I glean on somebody goes in my notes. If they tell me their kid's going to graduate from Wolfson High School in 2017, I've got a flag in May of 2017. I will do something about that. Customer relationship management is acting on it. Your past customers are your best and cheapest source of new business. Gentlemen right here, how many people are in your high school graduating class? 420. I bet you knew all of them at the time, didn't you, or most of them? How many did no one associated with today? But, but you know these people pretty well now? You talking to them all the time? No, just on Facebook. Oh, just on Facebook. I went to one of my class reunions recently and pissed me off a bunch of old people snuck in and put on my friend's name badges. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't believe it. <laughs> anyway, the point is, most of you do not keep in touch with the people you knew in high school. They drift into the past and they evaporated. You do the same thing with your car customers. They drift in the past and evaporate while we're spending a friggin' fortune advertising to strangers. 